Well, now that Colorado grocery and convenience stores can sell wine, a lot of liquor store owners are predicting softer sales ahead or even worse. Our Mountain Newsroom reporter Spencer Wilson talked with one owner who says the new law is a serious blow. And Spencer, sounds like mountain businesses really do have some unique struggles even beyond this new law. That's right, Jim. Not only does Safeway have the backing of a national corporation behind it compared to a mom and pop shop, but the rent prices up here in the high country are super cutthroat. So any lost profit margin is going to really hurt. Antlers Liquor and Wine Cellars owner Paul Phillips says he doesn't mind an even playing field. They just added um, a ton of new competitors. But he doesn't call this even. He calls it David versus Goliath. You know, they don't have to worry about their rent, whereas uh, our bills are, are the same, if not going up. They can afford to basically sell things almost at cost um, until they wipe out as many competitors as they can. Phillips believes that's the plan. Keep costs low in grocery stores until shoppers change their buying habits, then raise prices. He's not here to whine, but he says he's seen it before. He said that's what happened when they legalized beer sales. Unfortunately, within the next year, you'll see some smaller competitors that don't have the wherewithal to uh, handle that uh, go out of business, I feel. He knows there will be some people who favor conveniences, like tourists in a tourist town, looking to stock up on food and grab a bottle while they're at it. But for the locals who are trying to keep the towns up here alive, he believes he has the advantage. 92 cents of every dollar spent here at our store stays in the area. Whereas the grocery stores, about only 28 cents out of every dollar stays in the area. The statewide measure passed by a thin margin, 52% to 48%. And it wasn't Summit County getting it through. Almost every single county in Colorado voted against uh, wine being in grocery stores. Only a couple of the major cities in all of Colorado is what pushed this through. Now all he can do is thank those who voted against the measure and do his best to keep up with Goliath. Philip said he fully expects that spirits will be next on the list for both grocery and convenience stores to try and sell and get their foot in the market. He says he'll be ready for that if it happens too. Live in Frisco, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. All right.